How's it going, everyone? My name is Swingpoint, and welcome back to a little bit more of The Sandman. Now, you may have thought The Sandman was done because you saw an ending video, and then you saw an all endings video, but if you made it to the end of those videos, you saw that there is a bonus scenario, which is what we're going to do today in this video. So let's get straight into it. I'm not sure how much I'm actually going to play during this game. I do know, based off of the description, that there's not much walking around. It's just sequences of stuff seeing what the Sandman does. And we start off with an alarm that's really loud, ah! Because the Sandman's world is about to freak out. He lost all of his sleep again. Look, and he's, he hates life again. His eyes are all red and veiny and artery-ery, or I don't know the word. I don't know if this is before or after Sophie fixed everything, but either way, it's loud and annoying. It's not time for nodding off, Mr. Sandman. We gotta work. Lots of people wanting to sleep, Sandman. Sand time. The Sandman's job, take the sacks from the table and drop them into the holes. Put the bags into the holes flashing on the map to sprinkle those places with sand. Okay. Well, can I move? Yeah, I can move. Okay, so I just gotta... Oh, okay. So this should be really super easy, right? You can see the red dots on the map that are just becoming not red dots anymore. And hopefully the alarm shuts up after I do this! Oh, thank God. <laughs> hey. Bacon gorge. <laughs> Off to go clean up to the end. Oh yeah, so that's what the dust do. I just go and blow my sand all over the place, and then they go and clean it up afterwards. That seems seems like a relatively easy job, right? That ain't seeming too bad. I don't gotta clean anything up. Ah, oh, God, never mind. I'm not drinking my water. Sand man, work, work. And now is this because the world is round and it just keeps rotating, so he has to keep putting more and more sand out? That would be my guess. Like, it never stops because the world never stops rotating. That's why the Sandman can never get any sleep. But now I do believe that the bonus scenario is him not sleeping for another reason. Not just because the world is rotating. I could be wrong. He's like some oh. bitch. I hate this shit, man. <laughs> What's the guy got to do to get some snoozies around here? I don't know why the painting is missing a color. I remember the painting was missing a color from the game before. Oh my god, damn it! What am I doing wrong? Oh, why do we keep doing the same thing? There's gotta be something I'm missing here. Am I really just gonna keep doing this over and over again? Okay. I would think the third time's a charm here, or I'm doing something wrong. I am not sure. Here we go. Man, this job sucks. <laughs> Man, all I wanna work is a nine to five, and I gotta deal with this odd call bullshit. Fuck that. Okay. For the love of God. If that alarm goes off. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. How do you ever sleep? Ah! Really? Again? He's like, oh my god, I am so done. So done right now. <laughs> That's a great scream. I like that scream. What are we gonna do about this dwarf, huh? What the hell are we gonna do about this bullshit dwarf? So, you wanna put the humans to sleep forever. Okay, so this is a prelude. Okay, uh, what can I say? You decide what's what with the sleep. Forever seems a bit long, though. <laughs> Not really forever. What, a time-stopping machine? Why'd you make that? That way they can sleep forever, right? <laughs> Uh, I get it. If you didn't, they'd age and die while they slept, eh? Nice thinking there, Mr. Sandman. Eh, yeah, I could use the sleep. Barely caught a winking and working all the time. Alright, I'm going. Hope it goes well. So who's making this machine? Me? Dwarf? Was Dwarf like my counselor? I don't get what's going on here. The Sandman is very methodical and writes down what he wants to do. Check it if you're unsure what's next. Okay, so I probably got an item here. Oh, ooh, look at all these cool things I got. So I can use my magic mirror to go where I want to go. I have all my items here. Well, let's check out my secret memo here. Make sand for eternal sleep. Gather pink leaves from peachy tree on the lake. Get water from slimy swamp. Catch five truants, 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 I don't know, truants in the drywood forest. Once collected, I'll go to the sand making room. So this must be to make our eternal sleep sand. I don't know. Gather pink leaves from the pinky tree on whatever lake. So is that where the unicorn hangs out? I'd be... I'd laugh if we gotta do with that son of a bitch the unicorn. Okay, unicorn, don't you dare touch me. Let me go gather some pinky leaves. 
I got a lot of peachy tree leaves. Okay, I'm gonna talk to the unicorn. But what the sand man, what are you here for? <laughs> huh. Peachy tree leaves. Uh, sure, take what you like. But what do you need those for? <laughs> Put the humans asleep forever? Hmm. Yeah, no, no, I'm not grinning. <laughs> God, I hate this unicorn man, especially after playing Pony Island. I just know that he's up to the most diabolical of bullshit. <laughs> I think it'd be inter good thing. Uh, go for it, Sandman. Okay, I'm going for it. So I got my peachy tree leaves. What else did I need to do as a Sandman? Go we'll check my secret memo here. Water from the slimy swamp, and then five truants from the drywood forest. Okay, so everything's west from here on out. So the the uh, swamp is where Nixie hangs out, right? Shut up, glimmers! Get out of here. Here we go. Let's head on over here. And, um, can you get some slime for me, please? Oh, oh, God. Okay, thanks. Got that. And now I gotta go to the drywood forest and go touch some truants, right? Those should be up here. Gotcha! Okay, now I got all the truants. Okay, so I got all my stuff, so I'm gonna go brrrp over into the- Oh, dude, what? Look at all these extra things I got. Tea room, jewel room, secret room. Oh, this is my secret room. This is with the emerald flame stuff. Okay, well, let's use the magic mirror to go up to... The sand making room. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle the eternal sleep sand. It's gonna be this again? Okay. So yeah, the whole point of this, if I didn't already say so before, is to see what the Sandman was dealing with before Sophie came in and tried to rustle everything up. Now what I'm interested in is after we do this, how it starts to affect Sophie. Bye time. See you later time. Let's go see the human world. Oh, so that's why these little creeps are, like, wiggling around when Sophie's in the town. That makes sense, because they're nosy. Everybody's asleep, Sandman. Fast asleep and never gonna wake up. Wow, that's bad intel, man. He's like, oh yeah, dance party, sons of bitches! To, like, a harp. <laughs> Sandman, oh no, oh no, some people still aren't asleep. Yeah, I don't trust that other dust. He's a son of a stupid. <laughs> what the hell? You're fired! And then, oh, okay. That makes sense. Are these all just the insomniacs? Here's Sophie! Why are some people awake? Did the sleeping sand not work? It's because they're angry. And they have problems with their emotions. Really? They're too sad to sleep, too hurt to sleep. They must want to be put to sleep soon. They must want to sleep. You know, I think he's right. I think all these insomniacs wanted to sleep, right? It's just that they couldn't because their emotions were not letting them sleep. They were angry. They were regretful. They were jealous. What is going on in there, Sandman? Oh, he's making lullaby in here. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's what this room was for. That's interesting. I guess I never even really thought to w wonder what that room was for. <laughs> oh, so Sandman's made out of that. I mean, lullaby's made out of that green and purple stuff there. That's pretty cool. Can I move? Oh, I can move. Work in progress medicines. Neglecting them made you forget what they were. Well, they're made for lullaby, right? And now that I made that, I can probably take a look at my memo to see what I gotta do. Wait for lullaby to return to the tea room. Okay, well, I'm gonna go whoop, 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 whoop into the tea room and see what he's got for me, huh? Is that ice cream? Oh, I haven't had ice cream in so long. It's so good. Oh my god, I just want it in my mouth now. Oh, I'm drooling. Oh my god, I like the- Oh my god, like triple fudge. I'm just being such a fatty right now. Be a fatty with me. Go ahead in the comments right now and tell me your favorite dessert. Or a dessert you really like. It doesn't have to be your favorite. Just something that's on your mind right now that you're craving. Oh my god, chocolate ice cream with fudge inside the fudge in my mouth. Oh, hey, Sandman. Sorry to be back so soon, but I messed up because I suck. Because I'm David and that's what I do. Unicorn exposed my true form to Sophie. Man, I hate that guy. <laughs> then Sophie asked me to take her here. She'll be at the house soon. Hmm. Oh, I guess my job's done for now. I'll, I, I might take a little while before Sophie can sleep. See ya, Sandman. <laughs> Sorry. Throne? What has? Oh, you mean David. What? Yeah, you only know a little... You only know a little David. He used to be a cute little boy with fluffy hair. But he's a fine grown-up now. Doubt he remembers you, though. Anyway, see you, Sandman. 
Yeah, David actually didn't remember the Sandman. Surely did. Doesn't that kind of look like the sand dick coming out of his body? Just take a second. You can rewind the video, it's okay. I know you're curious, I kind of look like a sand dick. So let's go take a look at the memo here. Um, go receive Miss Grundler so she doesn't wander into danger. Prepare welcoming meal. Yeah, that welcoming meal didn't work out so well. Did I do good? Dude, I totally did do good. Is that Sophie? <laughs> I'm gonna go kiss a little brat. Get over here. You need to eat dinner with me. Come here, Sophie. So I'm supposed. Oh, God, I'm so bad at this, Sophie. I'm so sorry. Did you come back? Yeah, she came back on me. <laughs> so I'm totally supposed to get caught here. I didn't realize that. Hey! Oh, oh, God. So <laughs> Sophie, what are you doing? Get over here. No, God damn. Why are you so quick, kid? No! Here we go. Good job. She wanted it. She wanted these cookies. Selfie, selfie, eat up, eat up! Now, I didn't eat before, right? Food, food, eat up. And she's gonna say no, right? Eat! <laughs> Stupid little dust. Come on. Come on, just eat it, chew it up! I don't really get the eyeball soup, though. Or why I tried giving her fairy food. She's like, you don't want my food? What is wrong with you? So, I wonder what that blinking means, though. If he's like, what the hell ever, kid? Or if he's like, oh god, I just tried feeding her fairy food. Holy shit, what's wrong with me? I don't know which which type of blinking that is. Sandman, you're not eating? No, you see the eyeballs in this shit? It's okay? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really understand that scene. <sighs> what's wrong, Sandman? <laughs> Not it. Your food is really good, Sandman. All the fairies and dust love it. I'm sure Sophie just wants to sleep so sleepy she's not hungry. You should help her sleep soon. If you say so, dust. Let me just drop this memo right here on accident. Huh. Oh, there's a sand dick again. So sand dick means I get a new objective, right? I should have one sack of sand left in the sand making room. I have to put Miss Grundler to sleep quickly. Oh, okay. So that's when I run into her again. Makes sense. So, when you're playing the Sandman game, it kind of makes it seem like he's like creeping on you. Well, that's totally not what it is. That's just a big kawinky dick. So I'm gonna go ahead, go to my items, and go to the magic mirror, and try to find myself a sand making room, which I believe I can get to like this. Here we go. Sack of sand in the sand making room. Here we go. Oh! God, I found her. Duh, there she is. Hi! <laughs> Let me explain! You need to go to bed, kid! You're having a bad day! Oh, you make me chase you again! Oh, do I gotta follow this? Oh! Good, this is already all spread out. Perfect! Come here, Sophie! Sophie! Oh god, now I'm gonna fall into the Emerald Flames! That's totally what's gonna happen again. How do I not die by that, by the way? Wouldn't that kill a person? Now watch, I'm just gonna whoop right into here. Dude, it's so cool to see it from this perspective. I like this. I like this a lot. This is cool. Oh my god, that hurt my head. Sandman, are you okay? Yeah, fine. Why did Sophie run? Can't I fly? Come on. I'm a fairy. Why can't I just fly after her? I don't get it. Sophie wants to sleep, right? Why would she run? Because I'm being creepy? <sighs> Maybe that's why. Got creepy eyes and I sneak up on her all the time? I mean, I don't know. I'm just guessing. Oh, so that's what this hole was for and how it was made. That makes sense. I don't know why it was revealed at the end of the story for Sophie, but it kind of makes sense as to how we get down there then. But now, seeing as how I took out my sand dick to put a new thing on my memo, where could Miss Grundler be? She must want to sleep right away. I have to look for her. Okay, so after all this happened, she went up to... Where did she go? Oh no, she went to the room with the sand, right? To go get a stick in a sack. So I'm gonna go find her while she's getting a stick sack. And then scare her again while she hides in the closet? I don't know. Yep, see, that's her. I can hear her running around in here, right? Aha! Yep, sure enough. And now, I would love to see what his perspective is here. He's like, my stick is gone, that bitch! Like, do you honestly not see her in here?
<laughs> like, there's no way he doesn't know. He must have just been like the stupid kids hiding in the closet. Now, part of me wonders, though, because would he honestly let Sophie in there knowing the boogeyman likes to hide in closets? I'm not sure. Huh? Sophie was hiding in fear. Is she scared of you, Sandman? Okay, so he did know. He did know. But Sophie's not scared of us, so she can't be scared of Sandman. Sandman, oh no, oh no. A unicorn asked Sophie for a pink jewel. <gasps> he said he'd give her something for it. <laughs> that bitch did what? <laughs> you don't have a pink jewel. You already gave it back to the owner. But Unicorn told Sophie he'd kill her if she couldn't bring her back one. Unicorn's going to run Sophie through. <laughs> wow, what do we do with the man That's a great question. Well, Sophie somehow... Miraculously figured out that she could make her own pink jewel just by putting the suction thing on her head Don't know how she figured that out. Don't know how I figured that out I just kind of touched things and all of a sudden something popped out of my face So now that we know that I don't know if she already made it I'm gonna go to the jewel room just to see if she's already there, but if not, I'm gonna go So we still got a clear jewel here, huh? Maybe she put the clear jewel back I'm gonna go to the entrance to see if Sophie's there and if she's not oh fuck I returned to the title I just like I wasn't, uh, I gotta redo shit now, man. I just gotta redo all that shit I did. Fuck! <laughs> Why is it so hard being stupid sometimes, guys? It's just so hard. I was just not paying attention. I was clicking buttons, and I gotta redo it all. Where? Yeah. Okay, here we go. So this is where I was supposed to be going to my secret memo, not to the title screen. I'll paint the clear jewel to make a fake pink one. The unicorn's an imbecile, so he shouldn't notice. Oh, ho! Well, you know what? You're not that damn stupid. I got a horn in my belly hole last time I tried doing that fake pink jewel shit, Mr. Sandman. You almost got me killed, man. Actually, you did get me killed at least once, okay? 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 So let's go ahead and do it anyway. And how are we going to paint it? What am I going to paint it pink with? My tears? I feel like I would have pink tears. Look at those eyes right now, man. Oh, wait a second. One of the colors was missing from the paint. Oh, I get it now. You remember this? Okay, let's go to the secret room. It just took me a second there, but it, it all added up. So, magic mirror, and I'm gonna go to the secret room, right? And I guarantee you there's a pink paint here I can pick up. An incomplete landscape of painting and paints. Got pink paints. Yes! Dude, I'm so glad we that all got put together, because that's one thing I just didn't quite understand, why there was a piece of paint missing, or a, one of the paints missing. That's so cool! So, let's go ahead, pick our magic mirror here, go on over to the jewel room, Paint this bad boy pink. Cool, it's pink now. And now what's gonna happen? I, well, there's my sand dick. We're just gonna like get word from one of the dust that she went and gave him the jewel though, right? Like a real jewel? I wonder if Miss Grunderla successfully fooled the unicorn. I'm worried, I'll go check. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna go check the, I'll go check the entryway right away. Okay, here we go, perfect. I'm sorry! Wait, what is that? She has multiple jewels inside of her head? And I can see those. And it's missing. Yeah, my way, bitch! <laughs> well, apparently the pink jewel was the nasty one because Sophie cheered up so much after she got rid of that pink jewel. Ow! Man, that hurt. What are you doing? Jeez. Uh, it's his hand, man. Is that my angry voice? Do I sound, do I chirp like a bird when I'm angry? What? I'm not giving back this jewel. Look, Sophie gave it to me. This is none of your business. Oh, maybe that's a unicorn noise. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. All right, I'll give it back. Just stop hitting me. <laughs> Have you ever been so mad you beat up a horse? Got back Sophie's pink jewel. Okay. Actually, I want to talk to him one more time. Stupid Sam, man, I hate you so much, you stubborn coot. <laughs> oh, what's up, dwarf? Oi, Sandman. Can I talk to you for a second? Huh? Gonna return to Jewel to Sophie. Hold on, I gotta talk with you first. It's important. I think I might keep the pink jewel out of her head, honestly. Huh, so what's going on? Guess you really want to put her to sleep. But hey, Sandman, Sophie's scared of you, you know? Didn't go chase it for her, did you? I mean, a couple times. Uh, come on, you dunce. We look disgusting to humans. Of course a girl like her is gonna be scared. 
So did you tell Sophie? Tell her proper how you want to make her sleep? Nope. <laughs> Didn't, did you? Why not? Sophie won't know why you're chasing her. She doesn't understand those words you use. I mean, chase! Even I don't always get those most rationalistic and logicalistic word strings. He's like, oh crap, oh crap, you're right! Yeah, yeah, welcome with your cooking. Our food's poison to humans! How in the world did you forget that, you big buffoon? Oh my god! Yeah, Sophie scared you. Doesn't know why you're doing any of this. Listen, you gotta tell her your intents. And then when he does, he makes it look suspicious as fuck, like with a note on the ground. You forgot the human language. Uh, some researcher of the human mind you are. So, you don't know what Sophie's saying either. What? Oh my god. I told this to Sophie and I'll tell it to you too. Expecting understanding without saying words is naive. You gotta let them know how you feel. And this is when he was giving her advice about all of her problems in life, right? With like Regan and Dad and Anne. Yeah, at any rate, you get you gotta talk to her, right? So what you gonna do? Oh, and I won't stop either of you. Fairies are friends to kids, but you're a fellow fairy. I'll just watch to see which way it falls. Oh god, thanks. Well, you know what? That got the same man killed like three times in a row before I figured out how to get the good ending, so... Maybe you could have helped out a little bit, Dwarf. Jesus, Dwarf. Let me drink my water, Dwarf. Okay, so, what are we doing here? Secret memo. I can't believe it. I haven't told this grundler my intentions, but I forget the human language. I'll go to the human world and get a book I can study. What? What? First, I need to visit the Tooth Fairy. What? What? What is- what? We're so- we're so close to the end of the game, and now we're gonna hang out in the human world to go grab a book? Okay. Let's go to the entrance here. In fact, I'm going to, uh, you know, save my video game before I pull another Snoopy Scoop out of my buddy butt. And what does the Tooth Fairy gonna do about this? He goes to the human world all the time, so maybe that's what I'm gonna do? Uh, that weirdo's always flying around in kids' bedrooms. That's what he does. He goes and takes their teeth. Puts money underneath. It's the creepiest thing in the world. Let's talk to Nixie here. Well, don't you look gloomy, Sandman. How about trying to smile sometime? I might pull you into my water if you do so, big boy. Okay, so let's go inside the Tooth Fairy's castle here. Sup, sir? You see a man got some business? Well, you want money? No, 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 good. Co those coins are for kitties, you know? Am I gonna go buy a book? Like, what is this? You wanna buy something in the human world? Oh my god, I'm gonna go buy a book. <laughs> but why should I care? You're not having my coins. What? You, you, you'll make me tear a bit eye soup. What? Oh yeah, the Tooth Fairy likes his cooking. All right, all right, take your coins, but you will make me that soup. <laughs> Got a lot of coins. Ooh, okay. So, I, how do I get to the human world, though? Do I really just gotta, like, walk all the way up there? I mean, I guess I can try. Oh, this is kind of cool. I'm trying to find how to buy this book, but, like, you can go into some of these areas that we didn't really know why they were here before, and you can read up on them. So, like, each one of these is a little bio about each one of the kids, and he's like, it's a super nice words about all of them. So that's kind of cool to see. That's really cute. I wonder what these names are from, like if there's any, any significance behind them. Cool! And another one that I found was in the other room here. And there was this thing, I wasn't sure what it was. I thought it was a toilet. This is actually a globe when the world was flat, which is interesting. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Oh wait, what? I can go to the human world by going under my bed? What? Okay, well, I guess that works. That is not- That is not something I would have ever just, you know, considered. But, I guess I can go probably get my book here now. And I- who, am I gonna steal it? Where am I gonna steal it from? I would think from a book sh Oh my god, there's so many books I can take here! Well, I don't know which one I gotta look at though. Ooh, language books, perfect! I got an English study book. So I gotta, like, leave coins around here somewhere? It's <laughs> totally what I gotta do. Where do I leave my coins? Oh, I put him in the cash register. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> All is right in the world now. So can I go climb back underneath this guy's bed to go back to my world? What? I thought the boogeyman hung out under the bed, man. Oh wait, no, the sandman does like going under the bed. I remember that from the story now. Now, I think in the- oh my god. He looks so creepy. Oh god, he's so creepy. I feel like most stories have the boogeyman under the bed, but in this game he hides in the closet. Gotta get your facts straight here, Swing Point. Jeez, your fairyology is a little off. Okay, well now I got my letter to Sophie. Let me whip out my sand dick. 
and I'm pretty sure what I gotta do, I don't even, you know what? I'll take a look at it, but I'm pretty sure what I gotta do, head to the roof, yeah, is I just gotta go straight to the long corridor, and we'll be go-go-go-golden. Right? Perfect. So I just leave this here. Right? Come on. Letter to Sophie. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. Now I'm leaving my note. Perfect. Well, let's head upstairs here. Duke it out with the Grundler girl. I'm about to get my ass whooped is what's about to happen. Yeah, because here she's going to come out with a limp-ass rod. She doesn't pull it out right away, though, right? She waits. Sandman. <laughs> It was hard not being able to sleep, right? I understand I've been suffering the same way. Really, I'd want to be put to sleep too. I've wondered how good it would be to fall asleep and re to fall in all the bad things and sleep. Whatever. Words. Words. English. Hard. I'm sorry. Ooh, to forget all the bad things and sleep. <laughs> but I don't want to sleep forever. I want to wake up, even if it might be a bad day. I'm sorry I can't understand Sandman, but this is the only thing I, that I can do. He's like, oh god, oh god, am I really gonna fight with her again? I get my butt whooped anyway, don't I? Okay, well, let's try it. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. I suck. <laughs> I can't win this, can I? Am I supposed to lose? I'm supposed to lose, right? Oh, she got me, no! And we've already seen all this, right? We already knew all this stuff happened. She gets the better of us. And eventually I'm gonna wake up. And she's gonna fall asleep. Like, we're really just going through the good ending again, right? There it is. Hmm. Hey, Sophie. I can see your butt. Oh my god! He's like, that was the best time of my life. I don't know how she didn't fall, how she didn't die though. Cause I get that the human world had time stopped, but did the fairy world have time stopped? Or is there no time in the fairy world? I don't know. Cause I figured she would have aged in here, but maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know how it all works. Another thing I don't get is if he slept forever and those insomniacs weren't sleeping, did they all die? I don't know, man. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Wait, no, time stopped in the human world, so they just sat there and, like, freaked out. They're fine. Really, Sophie's the only one, right? I'm not sure. Not sure how this all worked out. Yeah, so what's he doing here with all these clocks? Oh, he just comes in here to turn off the eternal sleep, right? Because this is a little time-controlling area. Cool. And there we go, time resumes. Nifty. Oh, this is when she goes and meets up with David and Shirley. Now, at the end of the game, it says that David, or it says that Shirley and Sophie become friends. So I'm really curious to see if that carries over to the Boogeyman at all. Because I do believe that at least Sophie makes it into the Boogeyman. So I'm really, really curious to see how this all adds up later. Ooh, a new diary entry. What does it say? I need to read this. Miss Grundler's adorable sleeping face and her radiant as sun smile made me remember why do I put people to sleep in the first place? Because I love to see humans sleep, those happily sleeping people. Their faces brimming with hope for tomorrow. It was wrong to take away that hope with eternal sleep. She said to me that she wants to wake up, even if it's a bad day. Who am I to steal away a waking face from her? Because I am the Sandman, the fairy who grants humans joy and sleep. Aww. Aww. You woke up to humans? Good got a few centuries of rest, huh? Guess you won't do that again, will you? I mean, I don't know, I might. We gotta flatten out the world, right? Yeah, that too. Was well, not bad, I suppose. Made a time stopping machine if you ever did that. If you get tired of work, you can just stop time take a nap. Yeah, you're sleeping now, right? As long as a unicorn doesn't cause trouble. What? You can't sleep again? And why is that? After setting things with Sophie? Oh god, no. <sighs> I can't sleep again. Why? Hey, don't tell me. Oh, please. Ugly fairy like you and a cutie like her? Never happening. 
Setting up for disappointment there. Oh my god, <sighs> Sandman. Sandman! Not gonna listen, are ya? Always the same with you, you doofus. Sandman! Is he into Sophie? Oh, he's into Nixie? What's going on here? Sandman for Sophie? No! Oh, that's rich. Oh, it's that old coot thinking. Got mad for Sophie's pink jewel, too. Oh, God. Oh, funny watching a serious guy like him fall head over heels like that. Gonna have a lot to talk about. Uh, he's not getting any sleep again. More to worry about. Oh, leave him be. It's wonderful being sleepless in love. Certainly healthier than being sleep sleepless from overwork. But, you know, he never gave Sophie back her jewel. So what? Sophie can sleep again thanks to that. Maybe he should keep at her for a while. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that pink jewel was like all the nastiness inside of Sophie. Too soon for that little squirt. She's lonely and all kinds of weird. Or she, it'd be all kinds of weird. Ought to keep at it until she's a little older. Sandman's no fool. Things will settle down and he'll give it back. I think. Oh god. It's kind of creepy. Is he like jerking off to her pink jewel? <sighs> That's totally what he's doing. He's gonna pull out a sand dick. <laughs> oh my god, he just blew out the candle so he could jerk off to her jewel. <sighs> this is weird. If I hear a fat baby. Good end too! Welcome back, Insomnia! <laughs> Oh, there's more bonuses! Congratulations on beating the bonus scenario. How was it? Go up the escalator for more bonuses. What? Let's go see what's up here. More stuff? Look at all this cool stuff! Well, let's check out some of the exhibits that I'm guessing are in here. There was a crooked man. The crooked man! I had a dream. A cold, sad, underwater dream. Mermaid swamp. Oh, dude, we're gonna see other game. Yeah, we did Paranoiac as well. And is this the boogeyman? I saw a man drowning in a test tube. Insanity? I've never played Insanity. I might have to check that out. These are all games that Yuri... Yuri, is that how you say it? Has made. That's really cool! A theater showing a preview movie for the next game in the series. Forgive the low quality and stake a file size. Oh my god! Hype! Hype for the Boogeyman! Hype! Hype! With the support of VG Person and many other assistants... Don't blame it on sunshine. Don't blame it on moonlight. Don't blame it on good times. This is the next game we're playing, by the way. The Boogeyman game I've been telling you guys about. Blame it on the... Uh, 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 alcohol. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go to hell. Go to hell. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, well oh man, I really want to play that now. Somebody put a stop to that asshole's calls. Is there voice acting? Oh my god, there might be voice acting. That's so cool. Now, now I'm curious if the boogeyman is more than just like a creepy crawly that like hides in your closet or if he's like going to make you boogie. I don't know, man, based off of that sound that we got in there. This theater is showing a preview movie for an upcoming suspense game. What? Another one? Look at all these games! Oh my god, what's this? The Madonna of the School of what? Is dead? Is that what that said? Whoa, what is all this? So many words! Look at all these characters! Suspense game, I wonder what this one is! Oh, I'm so curious! I wanna know now! Huh. 
I don't know who killed her. This is, I like the James Bond effect. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard of that one. Interesting. Very interesting. I mean, every single game we've played by Yuri has been good. So, I mean, I trust him. I trust her. I'll see what the game's all about, you know? I mean, why not, huh? Well, cool, dude. I am so happy with how this game turned out and all the things we saw and all the hype we just got for two new games from this creator. So cool, so cool, so cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this series, The Sandman. Really excited to play The Boogeyman. Like I said, we'll probably play that later this month because I'm gonna be going to PAX. I feel like it'll be a really good series to have over the time that I'm at PAX. But man, this was so good. Oh my God. If you guys have any other good games that you'd like to see me play, go ahead and put them in the comments down below. Any good RPG Maker games, any good any games really. Put them in the comments down below. Go ahead and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed this series. I really did. I liked it a lot. And go ahead and subscribe if you are really, really effing excited for the Boogeyman and you have not yet subscribed. But with all that weight, oh, there's one more book over here. View the memory of the Sandman. Ooh. So are these all this, like, artwork? That's totally what this is. Cool. Look at all these. Cool! Yeah. So, like I was saying, guys, thank you guys so much for everything that you've done watching this series. I open out the channel. It really means a lot to me. And I'll see you guys in the next video that we do around here. Meow! Meow! Ew, that's a gross noise. It sounded like a turd. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? My name is Swing Point, and welcome back to a little bit more of The Sandman. We just got done almost. Almost gone.